So, hi. This is all uh, unboxing and first impressions of a new knife I've got today. And this is a CRKD, uh, Columbia River Knives and Tools Company, Swindle. So this is just the regular Swindle. Um, with the smooth scales and the uh, I think it's the 8CR13 MOV steel blade um, this isn't actually a brand new knife it's uh, something I took in trade um, but I've had a little look and it looks in absolute perfect condition there is one thing that's happened to it which I'll explain to you in a minute um, so in the box I don't think there's anything particularly specific to the knife just your standard literature really about their other products around this particular knife so I'll pop that back in here so steel scales frame lock flipper and this rather unusual pocket clip um, looks pretty cool um, admittedly I don't intend to carry this in my pocket we're in the UK and I don't think I could uh, come up with a good reason for carrying this particular knife in public um, if I was out walking in the countryside this isn't the knife I would take with me to, to do any bushcrafty things if I were to do that um, it's really a gentleman's flipper or gentleman's folder if you will um, but nonetheless so, th so this pocket clip obviously most pocket clips for example on the uh, UK PK here um, are designed to have the have it ride flat in your pocket but this as you can imagine is either going to kink the fabric around or sort of ride very proud um, but it's a nice design it's good quality so it's a flipper very very brisk it's on a the IKBS system, which is what that symbol mark means there, um, which is one of the reasons I wanted this knife. You know, it's not a not a knife that I find completely beautiful, although it's striking its looks. I find that this upward sweep here is a little unusual. So it swells there when actually your hand swells in the opposite direction. I, I think not entirely sure how comfortably it rides yet I need to need to have a play but the main reason for buying this or trading this um, was really to get an affordable um, IKBS knife and have a play with it the only thing the previous owner did to it which uh, you may be able to see is that's not the factory edge it's stropped to a polished finish almost a mirrored finish so I haven't quite worked out how sharp it is yet. I'm sure it's very sharp, but I'm used to getting things like Spydercos which have a uh, a toothy edge which you can instantly tell are going to be sharp. So let me just do a, a paper cut test. I think that's pretty sharp. These things always seem to go a bit wrong on camera, don't they? I think that that's pretty decently sharp. Get that out of the way. But all in all, you know, it's it's a very striking blade. Um, as I say, it's a it's a frame lock. Fairly early lock up there. Interesting to see the little markings there. Almost like teeth. I'm not sure whether that means it's been cut with a saw or laser cut, I'm not sure if you know, tell me this flies out IKPS is a, oh, an impressive system I think I can't imagine it getting much quicker than that it comes down centering's perfect I think as far as I can tell it's hard to see on this side because obviously the the frame locks coming in so you can't make a assessment 
very nice sort of sheep's foot or Warncliffe shaped blade. As you'll probably know, this is a Ken Onion design. Designs a lot of uh, knives for both um, CRKD and I think also Kershaw. Interestingly, it's marked up with first production. Not really sure what that means. I think this, this model's been around since the beginning of the year. This is early 2013. I'm not sure if pretty much all of them are going to be marked up as that. So just for a size comparison, that's your swindle. That's the UK PK. The blade is longer for sure. Or well, the cutting edge certainly is. As you can see, it, you know, the, the point that I made on the, the upward sweep of that handle being sort of unusual is obvious in comparison with this. That's where you'd normally expect to see it. And it sort of seems to fit the fingers and the sort of the swell of your palm there. This different style of knife, but it does actually the opposite. Not sure. One thing that I really do like about it is the uh, the jimping here is pretty gentle, but the rounding of the spine. I think that's a really nice sort of fit and finish sort of issue. Very nice. Um, so yeah, I'm really pleased to have this in my collection. I'm not sure if it's a if it's a perfectly designed knife, but it is a very stylish knife. Okay.